Good morning. This is Friday, October 30th, and I'd like to begin by wishing our Halloween baby, Erica Parlin, a happy birthday. She's 14 today. I believe it's 14. So have a happy birthday, Erica, and uh, hope you get a lot of presents. Today's uh, devotion is entitled Faith. This is Hebrews 11, 6. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Faith in active opposition to common sense is mistaken enthusiasm and narrow-mindedness. Let me read that again. Faith, when it's opposing common sense, is often mistaken for enthusiasm or narrow-mindedness. And common sense, in opposition to faith, demonstrates a mistaken reliance on reason as the basis for our truth. The life of faith brings the two of these into proper relationship. In other words, they both fit in the life of the Christian. Common sense and faith are as different from each other as the natural life is from the spiritual, and as impulsiveness is from inspiration. Nothing that Jesus Christ ever said is common sense, but it's revelation sense. I love that. That's a great phrase. It's revelation sense, and it's complete, whereas common sense falls short. Yet faith must be tested and tried before it becomes real in your life. Romans 8, 28, we know that all things work together for the good. So that no matter what happens, the transforming power of God's providence transforms perfect faith into reality. In other words, what we never thought could have happened from a common sense, when God's power hits it, transforms it into reality. It becomes common sense. Faith always works in a personal way because the purpose of God is to see that perfect faith is made real in his children. For every detail of common sense in life, there is a truth that God has revealed, which can, which by which we can prove in our practical experience that what we believe in God is to be true. Now what that means is that for everything we can think of, there's a scripture that matches it. There's nothing new under the sun. We can't use our common sense to help common sense God. There's a scripture through divine revelation to match everything that we could think of. Faith is a tremendously active principle that always puts Jesus Christ first. Again, the faith is not our wisdom. It's the faith in God. The life of faith says, Lord, you have said it. It appears to be irrational, but I'm going to step out boldly, trusting in your word. That's Matthew 6. Turning intellectual faith into our personal possession is always a fight and not just sometimes. And I wrote down here a little note that people who are very pragmatic have a very difficult time replacing faith and common sense. We want to be the pragmatist and say, A, B, C, therefore D. And sometimes God says, no, A, B equals Z. And we're thinking, that's impossible because we didn't do all the other alphabet. So sometimes pragmatism can get in the way of faith. God brings us into particular circumstances to educate our faith because the nature of faith is to make the object of our faith very real to us. Until we know Jesus, God is merely a concept, and we can't have faith in him. But once we hear Jesus say, he who has seen me has seen the Father, we immediately have something that is real, and our faith then becomes limitless. Faith is the entire person in right relationship with God through the power of the Spirit of Jesus Christ. So the challenge today is, does our own wisdom, our own common sense, our own pragmatism, does it get in the way of our faith in Jesus Christ? And I, and I have to say that we Mainers have a very difficult time with this concept. We are so A, B, C, D kind of people. We're rugged individualists. And the rugged individualist has a very hard time allowing faith to take place. We believe we got to get the snow shoveled and the firewood put up and the food canned. We just are hard-driving people. And it's hard for us to see that A, B, C sometimes equals Z. So the challenge today is, is there common sense and wisdom getting in the way of our faith? Let's pray. Father, I thank you that you challenge us and you stretch us beyond what is comfortable. That sometimes uh, it goes A, B, C into Z. And we don't have to have all the other alphabets in there, all the other letters. 
We're just free to know that you needed Z at that moment. And so we're going to write Z on the paper. We don't have to have all the other all the letters of the alphabet there. We're just going to write Z because you asked us to. I pray, Lord, we could be that kind of person today. That we would have faith that would ride over our common sense and leave it laying there on the side of the road. So, Father, be with us today. If there's anything in the way, any pragmatism, any analysis paralysis that keeps us locked in to what we think should take place, I pray you'd remove it. And we ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.